Hello, what's going on? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction. Uh, if you just wind up clicking on this video, thank you for watching. Uh, I've been documenting my journey through K-pop with my two co-hosts, Therese and Alex. So come join us live on Twitch every other Monday and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Would love to see you in the chat. Um, there is going to be a link in the description to go check out the Twitch. But as well as that, thank you for watching the video. If you like it enough, we'd love to see you come back, and uh, hopefully you'll be joining me on my journey. So thank you so much, and uh, catch you in the next video. Don't say that. Oh, oh yeah. It's a baby. Yeah. I don't think I know this one. I also really? don't think I've, I also feel like I don't, haven't heard this one, I don't think. Really? Maybe I have. I have listened to a lot of BB in my free time now. Um, yeah, this is a fun one. All right, cool. Well, you don't know who BB is, then check out some of the other videos we've done on her. Very cool. But this one is The Weeknd. So I don't know where this one sits in terms of the music videos we've watched, Alex. But this one is, this, is this one like is, uh, earlier. It's newer. Oh, in, okay. in BB's catalog as a whole, this is on the newer side. Very cool. All and right. I believe this is a collaboration with 88 Rising. Ah, very nice, very nice. Well, you might know a thing or two about that since you might be going to Head and Clouds. So, who knows? Either way, here we go. Let's get into some BB. Barbie wanna party like all night. And she looking like a zombie in her all fries. Yeah, she looking, yeah, she looking for a handout. She think of she and me, she in a band now. Pull up in the truck, pick it up like a limousine. Looking like a blast from the past, look like a legend. And you're the only Tennessee. And I hope you like Tennessee. And why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? Aren't you in me? You only call me. All right. <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right, cool. That was uh, BB the weekend. If you have uh, not just checked another, it out, just, just another, another casual BB horror film. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, just chill. You know, just vibe. <laughs> just vibing. You know, we just vibing. Just not. 
It's just BB things. It's just, yeah, it's just BB <laughs> things. Um, this I is ha- what she does on the weekends. <laughs> yeah. Vampirism, yeah. Um, I actually have heard this song, to be fair, so I'll I'll preface that I have heard the song because I after we went through and listened to some BB songs, I like went down and listened to some of her, you know, like the top BB songs, you know, like her playlist that you see on Spotify. It's like the, yeah, the, and this one's BB. up there. This one's up there. Yeah, um, I am surprised. I think comparatively to some of the other songs that I've heard from her, and obviously some of the ones that probably haven't even reacted to here on the channel, but. Um, I feel like this one's a little bit more like a, a different direction for her vocally. I think like some of, I like some of her like rasp and I felt like in this song there's, there's some, but not as much as I feel like some of the other songs that she's had previously. And that's not a bad thing. I think she's got like a really cool, like she's always had like a really unique vocal tone, but I felt like this one was more about like the ad libs. I was like because I have heard this song a couple different times now at this point, like I was trying to pick out a lot more of the like runs and the ad libs and stuff. And she's got like some really cool vocal runs going on um, in this song specifically. Um, Probably my favorite part of the song, which obviously I kind of like reacted to a little bit, but like that, like descending, like jazz chord riff in the uh, bridge portion of the song was probably Mm -hmm. my favorite. I really enjoyed that, like slowed down, section i think it just kind of hits super well um and i think again if you if people aren't like into the like haven't heard of like the k-pop stuff or like k adjacent type music i feel like this i think sweetly nailed it being this one being like kind of more of a radio type song that i feel like you could pass off to someone else that isn't inherently a fan of that type of music and you could easily like trojan horse this into <laughs> someone's rotation yeah, and, and for some know. context for some context this is her first collab with 88 rising it came out right i think prior to her playing um a summer head in the clouds yeah thing so she performed this uh there i believe it i, th- I think that also probably has a little bit to do with like the 88 rising aspect of it too, Agreed. because i think that from what I've experienced with like K pop artists collabing with the Idiot Rising is they always do something a little different. Yeah. It, it's always uh, usually a bit of a vibe change. Um, we saw that with G Idol. I was going to say. Song yeah. that we recently checked out. <laughs> Lot of I like G-Idol Youth Soul's analogy. <laughs> you will listen to K pop. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> this is literally us every time. That's, but yeah. have you heard this song? That's literally you guys to be, yeah. and then I am doing yeah, it all on the here. time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, but this is oh, this sorry. is my Trojan horse. You know, I am the tro- yeah. yeah, I am the I am in my village here, and Alex and Teresa are in the Trojan horse, and you're like, hey, listen, have you heard this K-pop song before? <laughs> like, have you heard this good song before? And I'm like, no, I haven't. I should check it out. And then you're like, oh, okay, here you go. Just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this song, I feel like you show this song to somebody, they are not thinking this is a K-pop song. For sure. Right. For sure. Yeah. But between Which, BB's vocals, it all yeah. being in English, and just, like, the general vibe of the song, it does not, nothing about it screams K-pop. Right. Agreed. Agreed. But really well done. I think, again, I, I, I think, if anything, this song has just shown me how versatile her styling is like you know you have stuff that she's just like fucking crazy and she's like kind of having like this more like manic i don't remember the music video where like she's basically she held that guy in like the dog crate that's all i remember is. oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but like that one i'm like holy shit that was bb vengeance I think. vengeance yeah. I, i'm pretty sure is vengeance yeah like i think about that song and i'm like holy shit that this same artist also does this song you know like i think to me it's like the the dichotomy of of bb as a whole i think Mm -hmm. is i think that to me just shows off how much of a range she has where you can have like this more chill like vibey uh type sound that she could do with this with like 88 rising but then you could have like the fucking back shit crazy stuff of vengeance and you're just like holy fuck she is psychotic but like I kind of like it, you know. <laughs> she she's just good at wearing multiple hats. Correct. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was gonna say this is extremely poppy for BB. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm hearing 
heavy Doja Cat, and I'm coming from mm. like a, I'm coming from a semi jaded perspective. I'm p- picky tonight, man. But like, <laughs> like, I already listened to another. Is the uh, headache? I think it was a Purple Kiss. <laughs> it's a headache. I think I was listening to the Purple Kiss album, and there was another song on there that I was like, oh my god, heavy, heavy Doja Cat influences, and it's really only say so that we're hearing the Doja Cat influences. They no one's copying like. The, uh, the other interesting stuff she's done Came and that's what red. yeah that's what that, bothers yeah. me yeah that's fair. so i i this isn't this isn't my favorite bb song i'm probably not gonna add it because i i just love her like the out the out there stuff that she does the whole low life princess noir album like that is great. oh yeah. my god that is great it's yeah. so good so like I get that 88 Rising does these things to make the the radio friendly Trojan horses. So I I really <laughs> I really uh understand where they're coming from. It's absolutely like a good grabber. But I also don't know if anyone listening to this would listen to Low Life. You know. Oh. So I don't know how well, successful know. that would be. I feel like you could maybe get some people that like find like go from this to maybe hearing some of her other songs and could it could pan out i mean i don't know I, I, possible, I sort of but like there's there's no bridge is what i'm saying so mm. it, it's hard it's hard for me to really say much because like in the chorus um when she's just saying you never call me on the weekend or whatever it's it's not doing anything for her vocals when she has really really good vocals all the good vocal parts are in the verses um but it's a lot a lot of chorus work in this song i really liked the the bridge though i think that was that was that was nice it's just I, it's a nice song i just know bb could do a lot i more. think i think that like you have like bb vengeance and you have um What's her new one? Like Bam Young Gang? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's Bam. Yeah. Um, I, I think she does have songs that can act as a good bridge. I just don't think they're her recent forward facing songs. Like, I think if you were to show someone like The Weeknd and then like Casino or something, like, I, I think there's a. I don't know. I, I, I see what you're saying, but I also think there there is a world where like it could help people get into could into translate, her or be yeah. more open to it mm-hmm. um i guess it's probably like a person person thing it depends how like uh you know how jarring of a musical difference you're willing to yeah because like i don't i don't hear this and think bb at all <laughs> that's fair yeah <laughs> yeah um i guess i i do because i this came out before like low life princess so I guess I didn't have all that like added context of the Life Princess Noir as as a release to like uh like credit to judge this against. Mm. But she had uh, other stuff, right? Like she had the um bad yeah, sad she had, mad, was that before this? Yes. Yeah, she had that. She had like an EP. Um What songs oh. were you Lee? <laughs> Sorry. I, I saw Sweet Lee's comment I had to ask. Um, I don't know. Millie did a uh, remix of the song. If you guys are familiar, Ooh. I sh- I know Brandon knows Millie because I play I her a lot. Yeah, Millie is but, sick. Uh, um, yeah. If anyone is familiar with Millie, she's a great singer, rapper, uh, everything. Talented performer, super super talented from Thailand. She is awesome. She did a remix of this. It's very good. Cut. Um, yeah, very cool. I I might be seeing BB in a couple weeks. If I decide to go to Head in the Clouds, we'll see. Ooh. That would be sick. It would be it would be sick. Uh, Crusoe said she's great. Very cool. Love to see it. Um, insane rapper. Her feature with uh, Changbin uh, from Stray Kids on that one song is still legendary. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I I literally <laughs> played that. I literally played that for Brandon last night. Literally, when I saw I saw Millie last year, um, at Head in the Clouds, and she. Did that? She performed that entire song and rapped the entire thing by herself. Like, did Changbin's parts and did F Hero's parts. It was insane. She's Damn. too talented. Cooking, cooking the hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. I'll have to. I'll have to listen to the hills again. I haven't listened to that in a while, sweetly. So I'll have to go back. 
Um, G says, I need to see Young Posse at Head of Clouds LA so I can see them live this year. That's going to be Hopefully. cooking. Oh, yeah. Okay. I get, okay. I, I, I see what you're saying, sweetie. I could, I could, I could pick it up. I think I, I think I know what you're cooking. 